Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. When Chloe and Holly Bailey posted a YouTube video singing a Beyonce song five years ago, they had no clue she would see it. But not only did she see it, she loved it, signed them to her record label, and became their mentor. The rest, as they say, is her story. These young ladies are now on tour with Beyonce and just released their debut album. Listen to this. I remember we were on the bleachers sharing secrets. When we look up, it'd be where did the time go? And I remember you would hold my hand and call me baby while we're dancing in the parking lot so slow. Please welcome the extremely talented sister duo, Chloe and Holly. <laughs> Show. Have a seat here, ladies. Yeah. Thanks for having wow. us. Wow. Come on. You guys are just inspirational to so many people, so many people. Well, oh, let's go all you. the way back. Pretty Hurts uh, yes. is where it all started. Did you imagine your life would be like it is now after posting that video five years ago? Oh, wow. Ever since we were little girls, we always loved to entertain in some sort of way. Yeah. And I know deep down in our spirit, we knew it would happen. We just never knew how. Yeah. And to believe that, you know, just posting a singing online could open up so many doors is crazy to even think about. But we're just so grateful to be here in this moment. Yeah. And we're happy to be here with you today. Oh, so. thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how did the journey even start and what has it been like after you found out Beyonce saw your video and then everything just kind of skyrocketed from there. Take mm -hmm. us from that point. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. So we grew up here in Atlanta. Georgia. Oh, I know it. Uh -huh. And uh, we had always been singing around town. Yeah. So when we started posting YouTube covers, we realized we were gaining a wonderful group of fans and we were so grateful for them. And, mm -hmm. you know, we constantly pinch ourselves every day that Beyonce saw our video and mm -hmm. um, we're really just grateful to have someone like her in our lives. You know, yeah. she's been through everything we're going through now especially as new artists you know we're growing we're learning so much and we're just grateful for her being there as a resource and, yeah you know we couldn't ask for anything else yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah i think i saw you guys perform at um one of polo de don's events years ago oh, with yeah. gary Nelson. Yeah. you remember that yes, yeah. Way back. <laughs> yeah yeah so just talk about your family and how you all are able to have such sweet spirits that you have now and how are you able to continue to stay as grounded as you are. Oh wow, it's definitely our family. And you know, the people we keep around us, we're just so grateful we have such positive influences. And you know, I'm so happy I get to do this with my sister. Yeah. Because whenever I'm feeling down, she uplifts me and you know, vice versa. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'd do without her. <laughs> but you know, we also learn that this is a job and you know, we're vessels from a higher power and you know, yes, it's from us, but you know, it's also something else there too. Yeah. So it's not just all us and yeah. we understand that yeah. and we're grateful for every moment. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what else, ke that's also keeps us grounded yeah, too. So. Yeah, And so recently you were nominated for Best New Artist at the VMAs. What did that feel like? <laughs> oh, that was a dream. You know, we <laughs> love the VMAs. Right. And being able to be nominated twice was really, really mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. And we were just so happy to be there and soaking it all in. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So let's talk about like some of your favorite Hollywood events. Have you been starstruck by a certain, I mean, it doesn't get any bigger than Beyonce, mm -hmm. but people that have come up to you and say, oh my God, I love what you do. What's that moment been like for you and who was that person? Oh, wow. You know, we get starstruck all the time. We're definitely music lovers mm -hmm. and fans first. So, I mean, there's still, Andre 3000, I would like die if I met him. <laughs> and yeah, everyone we've come in contact with has been truly kind. And I feel like the people who are most successful always have the most kind hearts because that's when, you know, good stuff comes to them. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I would have to agree. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are the best ever. Okay, so the show Grownish, which is so amazing. I love you guys on that. Thank but a lot you. of people don't know that you actually created the theme song. We know you sing on it, but you created it as well. Talk about yes, that yeah. process. Yes. Well, me and my sister we are writers and producers my wonderful sister here is an amazing producer and you know we just vibe out in our living room all the time uh -huh. uh, 
Um, we were really grateful for this opportunity to create the theme song for Grownish because, you know, as well as venturing into acting, music was kind of our passion and our first love, and mm -hmm. we were always working at that. Mm -hmm. So we were looking for ways to incorporate our music into the show, Grownish. Yeah. And we were really grateful that Kenya Barris, the executive producer of the show, really loved the song that we presented him and wanted to use it for the theme song. And, you know, that's really fun for me and my sister to do. Mm -hmm. It's like putting together a puzzle when we can create songs to certain scenes of certain movies and certain television shows. Yeah, yeah. And that's definitely some more things that we want to do in the future, like scoring a film. Right. More things like mm -hmm. that. Good, yeah. good. Awesome. Well, of course, we're going to have more with Chloe and Haley when they come to a city near you or when we come back. But they're on tour, of course, with Beyonce and Jay-Z and DJ Khaled on the run tour. Don't forget to get their new album, The Kids Are Alright, on streaming services everywhere. When we come back, we'll have a very special treat. The ladies are going to perform for us. Stay with us. <laughs> I'm here with the multi-talented and beautiful Chloe and Holly. And before we let you go, ladies, I got to hear yeah. a little something. Can of you course. give us a little something? Sure. sure. Yeah. <laughs> As the teardrops run down my eyes and get cooler as they reach the end I'm wondering will it ever stop cause it feels like I'm about to drop in ten, nine, eight, seven, six. When will it ever stop? When will I reach the end? Why? Oh, I don't know so what holds in my future? Please, I need some answers. Don't know what's in my future. Oh my goodness, this is nothing but anointing. Thank you. My God, I mean, I mean, when did you know you were anointed? Oh, oh, well, I think. We just loved singing when we were babies, yeah. and it just kind of followed us as we grew yeah. older. It's yeah. a beautiful thing. Thank Let's talk you. On the Run tour. Yes. Beyonce and Jay-Z, what's it been like on the road? What have you learned? <sighs> yes, it's been an amazing learning experience on the road so far. You know, we're learning how to connect with sometimes 50,000 people uh -huh. in the room and try to, and it's, it's very different because a lot of the people in the audience look like ants. You can't really <laughs> right, see their right. faces. Yeah. So we're learning to sing from our souls and to mm -hmm. try to draw them in in that way. And watching Jay-Z and Beyonce perform 100 150% every night yes. really inspires us as new artists to go out there and give it our all. So. Yeah, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. So the kids are all right. Tell us about your yes. new album. And oh why did you goodness. name it that? Yes, so my sister and I, we both decided to name this album The Kids Are All Right because, you know, we're growing as young women. Yes. And, you know, there's times where, you know, you'll, there'll be self-doubt, even underestimation through other people. And it's just saying we'll be all right as well as a collective with this generation there's so many crazy things happening Absolutely. in the world you know negative things but this is us saying we'll be okay i love being a part of generation z because we turn the negatives into positives yes, yes. through our art and through our voices and you know we're more than just a hashtag we're wow. actually doing things to make a difference good, so good. yeah that's why we named it the kids are all right right so. because you kids are all right. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being Thank you. here. Thank Absolutely you. beautiful women. Catch <laughs> Chloe and Holly when they come to your city with Beyonce, Jay-Z, DJ Khaled on the On The Run Tour. And the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. <laughs>